did facial joints. Uh, we're going to talk about wrap deformers and blend shapes last. Let's do the eye controls. We can kind of skip around on this because we don't have a full body to work on. We're going to um, create a Basically, I just want something I can trace a curve off of. So that was good. So move it over here, move it up here. And I'm going to go to create CV curve tool. I'm going to go to the option box on that. I just want linear. And I'm going to hold V and I'm going to snap this to my cube when I make this. I just want that edge. So that was cool. Center my pivot on that and then delete my geometry. So now I've just got this curve. It's a cube or a square rectangle. I'm going to call this eye controls. Eye controls. Right? Awesome. I'm going to go to my front view and I'm just going to create a nerve primitive. I'm going to make a circle. Something like that, maybe. What I'm going to do is move this out here, down here. I want it to be kind of in line with this. I'm just going to hold uh, X and move so they snap together like that. So there's one eye. I'm going to duplicate it. Invert that. So now I've got two little circles, two circles inside this rectangle, right? This is going to be uh, L underscore I underscore control. This is going to be R underscore I underscore control. I'm going to select all three of these. Freeze my transformations. I'm going to go to the option box. Those all frozen. So they're all zeroed out, right? And I'm going to color these. So this one is going to. Yes. Drawing overrides, maybe overrides. This one's going to be blue. This one's going to be red. This one is going to be yellow. So what I want to do is, I've got the square, what I want to have this do is when I move the square, it's going to move both of these circles inside of it. So what I need to do is parent these circles to the cube, or to the square. So I'm just going to select my uh, circle, and then my rectangle, press P. Circle, rectangle. So when I move this, it moves both of those, but I can also move these independently. right? These are going to be my eye controls. So what I want to do is open up my outliner, expand my joints here. I'm going to connect using an aim constraint. So I'm going to select my left eye control, and then I'm going to select my left eyeball joint. Okay? And I'm going to go to constrain, aim, and I want to maintain offset. And I'm going to add that. Can you controller I then constraint? Yes. Controller, right eyeball, constraint, aim. Make sure you have maintain offset term. Add that. So now when I move this around, watch what happens. Almost there. Where does maintain offset do again? It keeps it in the same orientation it's already in. So if it's not checked? So if it's not, if it's not checked, it might change the orientation of the eyeball. But what I want to do, I did maintain offset because I know that I want that to roughly be there. So the reason I did this and didn't just have one thing and have them both aim at that is because I can now take this and make a cross eye if I want. Right? And then move this as a group and he'll be cross eyed all the time. 
Uh, the other reason you do that is because when you're animating, if you've got a character who is like off to the side, right, and he's going to be looking like this, right, and he's looking at something that's like maybe uh, over here, right, this pupil, if I just had an aimer, like this one you might be able to see because it's on that side of the head, but this one might actually orbit around and you would lose the pupil when you're looking at it from this side, which is physically correct, but it looks dumb when you look at that in an animation if his eye just, if his pupil disappeared, it looked like he's injured or something, right? So with this ability to offset and have it work separately, I can take this one and cheat it back around so that I get two pupils in the animation, rather than that one disappearing, you know what I mean? And to get the eyes to go straight at it, you gotta make the nerves part of the eyeballs drawn straight out. Yeah. Um, the other thing I like to do is take these and Hold them in just a little bit so the guy has a little bit of focus to him. Not really doing too much when I'm animating, not when I'm breaking. But so that's why that, that set up like that. So any questions? This is the eye controls, left eye control, right eye control, right? Awesome. All right. Now a lot of this other stuff we've already done, right? So the same way you made the rings, right, and then grouped it. Parent, or parent under itself, delete the extra shape node, right? Set them up that way, right? So we're going to do one for the neck, one for the head. Turn on my joints here. Or, or on. So I'm just going to create a circle. So I want this to be on the neck, so I'm going to select this and then this, right? Press P. Wait, did I do that wrong? I did that. Yeah, you're right. Duh. Okay. Controller, then joint, press P, zero this out so it snaps to its position, right? I'm actually going to take this and rotate it. Matches the um, rotation of the neck. Then I can take these and pull them up. And you just give a little bit of a shape to it. That's going to be our neck controller, right? We're going to hit Shift P, which is going to unparent it, and now it's not zeroed out. What I need to do is go to the outliner, make sure my shapes are turned on, duplicate that, put it inside of itself, and delete the extra shape node, right? This is going to be called neck control. It's going to be called neck control group. Right? So this is zero. All the translations are on that. Cool. Now let's make one for our head. Actually, let me change the color of this one. Just to be consistent. Let's do yellow. So let's make one for the head now. I'm going to just make a circle. Just it out there. I'm going to select the control, then the joint, press P, zero this out. It'll snap to where the head is, right? I'm going to take this and adjust these a little bit. Even though the pivot point is going to be there for the, uh, for the controller, because I'm just moving the points on the controller now. All right. So that's the head controller. Oh, I need to unparent it. Sorry. Shift P to unparent it. Right. I'm going to duplicate it. Put it inside of itself. The extra shape node. This is head control, and this is head control group. Change the color of this. Make this one yellow as well. Cool. 
Um, I also want to make shapes for the, I don't need to do the eyes for the eyelids, because I'm going to use set different keys for the eyelids. And fake for the brows as well. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Uh, let's make one more controller. We're going to make one for the jaw. I'm going to make a circle. <coughs> right. Figure that out. Call it jaw control. Select that. Then the jaw, which is right there. Parent it. Zero it out. Unparent it. So there's my jaw control. That was horrible. Because you want to be able to know that it's the jaw and what it's going to Right. So what I'm going to do is rotate these so that they kind of face the direction that the jaw is in. And I'm going to select top and bottom bits there. Actually, basically make the shape of a jaw kind of. Um, in my side view, move my pivot point for this. So you end up with something that kind of resembles the face mask of a football helmet. Ooh, what happened there? <laughs> I think I went, uh, yeah, I inverted some of these by accident. It's a cool shape, but. What is going on? This, these two, I think are messed up. Yeah. So I'm basically, you just want a nice control that's easy to see. Something like that. Pivot point is still where I left it. That's the jaw there, right? That's my jaw control. I'll change the color of this to yellow. Which is somewhere there. So I have to duplicate this put it inside of itself, delete the extra shape node, jaw control group, jaw control. All right, so what I need to do is a little bit of work here. I want the jaw control to be parented, I want the jaw control group to be parented to the head control. I want the head control group to be parented to the neck, right? So I'm gonna select the jaw control, press up to get the group. Then hold shift, press the head, press P, right? So if I grab this and I move it around, it's gonna move the jaw, right? And then I'm gonna select head, press up to get the group. Hold shift, select the neck, press P. Now when I move the neck, it moves the head, which moves the jaw, right? Awesome. Now I need to add a little bit of constraints here, right? So what I'm gonna do is select the neck control and then shift select this neck joint and constrain, orient, maintain offset at. So when I rotate this, it's going to rotate the neck. Awesome. Actually, you know what? Take that back. I don't want to do an orient. I want to do a parent constraint. Because I also want to, I also want to be able to translate that. Constrain, parent. So that's going to be our root node. We're going to have that. So now, if I grab this and I move it, it'll move that too. The reason I didn't want to use the orient is because I did, that wouldn't translate, right? So let me undo that and show you. So if I select this and then I select the neck joint and I did an orient constraint, right? It rotated just fine, but when I want to translate it, it doesn't do anything, right? So the parent constraint will fix that. Neck control, neck joint, constraint, parent. Head control, I do want that to only orient, so I'm not going to translate the head. So I'm selecting the head control, 
and head joint constraint orient, and then jaw control, jaw joint constraint orient. So to test this out, we turn off our joints. Take, take this and rotate it. I can take this and rotate it. Now notice his pupils are still aiming at the. Ooh, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> They're still aiming at the controller, right? Here's the jaw. Oh! <laughs> right? Amazing. Save that. All right. So what about the lips and the brows and the blinks? I'm going to do set driven keys for. I'm also going to do a blend shape to make his, his cheeks go up, right? So we talked about facial joints. That was most of the, the evening. Uh, wrap performers are going to stay for last. We did the eye controller already. This all kind of comes together right at the end. It's kind of like a, an episode of the 18, which was a show in the 80s. OK, um, so what I want to do now is the um, Let's do, we already did set.